All right, it's a stormy day outside, which is wonderful because it's been in the hundreds here for the last week or so. And that's not unusual for Montana this time of year, but uh, it's always nice when it uh, cools off. All right, I'm going to uh, be making some beadwork. You know, I'll put up a picture of, of the beadwork that I'm thinking of doing. And uh, it's a Cheyenne-style uh, strip of beads that will go across the top of the blanket here, which is actually in the middle of the blanket. The blanket is folded over. And then I'm going to use some of that monster clay to make fringe to go along that seam of the dress and along that seam of the dress. But I'll do that uh, out of the same kind of clay. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just waiting for my monster clay to soften up enough for me to use it. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm just going to measure out the uh, length that I need, and that's it right there. Okay, I'm trying something for the first time. I'm taking a bottle cap from a Dr. Pepper bottle, and I'm making four circles. Like a cook like a cookie cutter pressing down on it and then twisting it there we go now I got to get it out of there <laughs> that's the diameter of the uh, circle now I just have to divide until I get the exact center Okay, that's the center. All right, I did the uh, cross before I did the uh, beadwork, and I think this might help a lot. Well, it ain't perfect, but gets across the point. Okay, it's two down. Nerve-wracking.
Okay, I'm going to do these last two. All right, I plotted out the uh, four dials or discs and now the beadwork that goes between them. And I'm gonna have to put the pattern on that beadwork. And that's gonna have to be next week. I just, this is taking me a lot longer than I expected. What I'm doing is taking the distance between the uh, outer edge of the uh, disc and I take the distance between the cut and the outside, inside of the uh, cut on the next one. Now I just put the uh, bottle cap there And I put it uh, on the back. And see, I'll clean up the uh, where it joins up with the discs. I've got to carve me some tools this weekend that I can used to uh, put the pattern in the beadwork. All right, I put the last two strips of beads on. I had to move everything over a little bit to make these two end strips be the same exact size or length. I find this roller really handy for pressing stuff down gently. Oh no, I did that already. I'm uh, done with the beadwork. I think that really adds something nice to the uh, back. I'm going to have stringers hanging off the center of the beads, of the, the uh, circled beads. And, uh, but I like that uh, a lot. All right. Uh, somehow I got to work out the pattern for the uh, in between. And I'll put the photograph of the uh, beadwork up again so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week. And I'll pick this up next week. I will be going someplace on Wednesday of next week. So hopefully I get here Monday and uh, can get to work on this. If I can't, then I'll have to come in on Tuesday. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Be safe. It's finally cooling off here in Montana. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.